Hope you are doing well. And today's review, we will begin with more expensive TVs and we will gradually move on to a more budget-friendly segment. I must say straight away that I will not read out the connectors on TVs since I have made a general spreadsheet complete with all of the characteristics. There you can take a look. Also, I will not read out the gaming capabilities and support for video formats just to shorten the duration of this video. The power consumption and PWM flicker on the slide you can read there as well. So, the first model is absolutely new this year called QS95B. It is manufactured in 5565 diagonal OLED matrix using a layer on quantum dots, 120Hz 10-bit glossy display coating, 4K display resolution, brightness of HDR 910 candela, brightness of SDR 423 candela, OLED backlight respectively, each pixel is highlighted separately. Samsung, after a long post, said that TVs will again support Dolby Atmos this year, but I also saw a source who wrote that more expensive TVs will support Dolby Atmos. And starting with the Q80B model, this support will not be there anymore. How it really is, only time and practice will show us. The same TV has a 60 w 222 system. Let's move on. The next model is called Samsung QN900B. This is a flagship 8K TV this year, made in 65, 75, 85 diagonal, VA 120Hz 10-bit matrix, glossy display coating, display resolution 8K, brightness of HDR 1440 candela, brightness of SDR 845 candela, contrast 1650 to 1, local dimming in contrast, 20,350 to 1, mini LED backlighting as it was in previous models from 2021, Dolby Atmos 90 watt sound, 6 to 4 system, also, which is significant, this TV has a one connect remote unit. The next model is called Samsung QN 800B. This is a younger brother of the previous model. It is made in 65, 75, 85 diagonal, VA 120Hz, 10-bit matrix, glossy display coating, 8K resolution. I did not find information about the brightness of HDR or SDR. There is a mini LED backlight, Dolby Atmos Sound 70 watt system 422. Also, this TV has a remote One Connect unit. Move on. The next model is called Samsung QN700B. It is made in 55, 65, 75 diagonal. The VA matrix is there, not 120 but 60 Hz, 10 bit, glossy display coating, resolution 8K. I did not find information on brightness. Mini LED backlight. The sound here is even a little worse. Dolby Atmos 60 Watt. System 4.2. Gaming capabilities are also cut because the TV is not 120 Hz. There is only ALMM support. A remote unit is also present on this TV. We have already reached 4K TVs and we will start with the Samsung QN95 model or it can also be called as QN94B, manufactured in 55, 65, 75 and 85 diagonals, VA 120Hz matrix, 8-bit plus FRC, glossy display coating, 4K resolution, HDR brightness 1100 35 candela, SDR brightness 1020 candela, local dimming contrast 19801, mini LED backlight, Dolby Atmos sound 70 watt, system 422. This TV also has a one connect block. This is the most basic difference over the model that I will now tell you about. So, this model is called QN1991-9293B. It can provide the same technical TV as QN95B. The only difference that there is a one connect blocked and the sound for Q 
90 is 60 watt, whereas in QN 95 is 70 watt. This is the main and most significant distinction and not to read the same parameters to you, I will say it briefly and clearly. Just two absolutely identical TVs are simply done so that it's more convenient for someone with the one connect block and for someone one connect is not needed. So please keep it in mind. Accordingly, the TV is also different in its thickness. The next model is called QN85B. It can be called QN87B as well. It is made in 55, 65, 75 and 85 diagonals. The matrix here is already ADS this is important, 120 Hz 8-bit plus FRC, 85 diagonal VA matrix. Regarding the matrix, nothing has changed with the models of the previous 21st year. The matrix in this model remains the same as it was DS. We will talk about this quality at the end of the video, although those who know they already know what the conversation will be about. Semi-glossy display coating, 4K resolution, HDR 695 of brightness, SDR 950 of brightness. Yes, I did not mess up anything. I myself do not really understand why this has happened. Contrast is 1150 to 1, local dimming contrast is 8200 to 1, mini LED back backlight, 60 watt Dolby Atmos sound, 222 system. So, we have gone through three mini LED models. Next comes the same 4K line, but the backlight is no longer mini LED. We will start with the most popular TV in year 2021 and we will see how many people will like it in 2022. This model is Samsung Q80B. It is made from 50 to 85 diagonal VA or ADS matrix 120 Hz 8 bit plus FRC. 50 diagonal 60 Hz. There is a lot of debate around which matrix is VA or ADS. This year I found more likely information that this is a purely VA panel, but this is 100% different depending on the region where you are and where you will buy it. So here I indicated two different options. By the end of this video, I will write and describe in which model, which matrix, again, I can be wrong, this is a human factor and it is no longer news that information can change over time. So, 4K resolution, HDR brightness 695 candela, SDR brightness 680 candela, contrast 1150 to 1. Direct LED backlight, 48 dimming zones. Nothing has changed, neither the number of zones nor the backlight type. Thanks God that it remains so. Sound Dolby Atmos 60 watt, system 222. Here we have a 20 watt subwoofer and four speakers of 10 watt. Moving on, the next model we have is Samsung Q70B, manufactured in 55, 65, 75 and 85 diagonals. The VA 120Hz matrix is also 8-bit plus FRC, 4K resolution, the HDR brightness is far from being as cool as the Q80 model, is 550 candela and the brightness of SDR 540 candela. Contrast 7400 to 1. The backlight is no longer direct with local dimming, as it was in the 8th series. Here we have edge backlight respectively. To whom I showed it, they know as those who watch my videos regularly. For those who can be viewing this for the first time, edge LED backlight is a side light. What is the risk? It is fraught with the fact that when you watch any contact, in particular at night, you will have light in the corners and it is clearly unacceptable, but the price corresponds to its quality. The sound of Dolby Atmos is 20 watt, system 2.0 and there is no subwoofer here. Next we have Samsung Q60B. It is made from 
43 to 85 diagonals VA 60 Hz matrix 8 bit plus FRC semi glossy coating resolution 3840 by 2164 HDR brightness 430 candela, HDR brightness 450 candela, contrast 6200 to 1, edge LED backlight, Dolby Atmos 20 watt sound, 2.0 system. The next model we have is already more budgetary called Samsung BU 8500. It's made from 43 to 85 diagonal of the matrix VA 60 Hz 8 bit plus FRC, 43 diagonal VA panel and ADS that is depending on the region and indeed how lucky you are. Semi glossy display finish, 4K resolution, HDR brightness. 304 candela, SDR brightness 302 candela, 3800 to 1 contrast ratio, edge LED backlight, Dolby Atmos 20 watt sound system 2.0. We quickly run through and have only one model left. This is a Samsung BU 8000. The same characteristics as the model BU 8500 has. There is only one difference. The previous one comes with a lag in the center. The model BU 8000 comes with legs on the sides. I did not add here the model that is transferred from 2021 to 2022. It will be called as AU7100. Who knows, knows it. They decided to leave it and produce it next year, that is uh, in the current 2022. Regarding designing TVs, I will not tell anything insignificant, only that the Tizen interface has changed. Tizen is the operating system on Samsung TVs. Previously, when you press the home button, a list of applications appeared at the bottom. Now you press the home button and you have smart in full screen, as it is on the new LG TVs. Why it is done this way? simply to throw a bunch of ads in there, that is, everything rolls you know where. Now, about designer TVs. What have they updated? Look, they updated the art store. Art store is a store with content in general. Designer TVs mean that you hang the TV on the wall, there are a lot of frames in the kit, you can buy a lot, different colors, and you can upload any pictures there. You can upload your photos, pretty much anything, which according to Samsung is beautiful. Indeed, it is, but as for me, absolutely useless function. So, they have updated this art store and there is already a lot of new stuff to download. They also improved the sound and added speakers at the top, slim wall mount and brand new remote control. The main thing and what I like the most is that these three versions, if you can call it that way, they will now have a matte panel, that is, the display cover will be matte. According to Samsung, this is very cool. Why? Because, for example, you install some kind of painting by a famous artist there. It doesn't matter at all. It can even be your child who will draw the picture and you will then translate it into digital. When the TV screen is matte, it looks more believable and looks like this is a real picture. Well, let's see how it will actually look like, but as for me, it's very amusing. As for the sound, as I already mentioned, they added support for Dolby Atmos, including wireless Dolby Atmos for soundbars. That is, the speakers can be used in combination with the TV. Thus, the dynamics on the TV are combined with your soundbar. This is certainly not new, it's called OTS, this feature in Samsung TV. But every year they make such headlines as if it hadn't happened in the past, while well, marketing works and thanks God.
Tizen is now, as I said, done on the whole screen and not just at the bottom of the strip with applications. It was divided into three types – media, game, hub and ambient. Ambient is a mode that you turn on so that you don't just turn off the TV, you turn on the ambient mode. In this mode you can choose your photos there, just a picture and your TV goes into eco mode. The screen does not turn off. but just just barely removes the brightness to the maxima and it looks more or less beautiful. At least it's better than just turning on the TV. A 14-bit backlight controller appeared. I haven't fully figured out yet whether it will be noticeable to put the model of 21st, 22nd years old and understand whether the backlighting has really changed so drastically. So again, I won't just read aloud the news that Samsung presents. I will keep silence about it. Dolby Atmos support Samsung AU7100 moved from 2021 to 2022. They did OLED again. They did it in the way they wanted for a long period of time. They had to come up with something. Something needed to be done. And as a result, they got the idea that it was time to come to terms with order to buy panels from LG, which they did. But of course, they wouldn't do it just like that. They had to add a layer of quantum dots. Basically, no matter what Samsung took on, you need to add a layer of quantum dots everywhere. In fact, the TV turned out really cool. I would compare it and I will with the Sony A95K TV, which is also new. There is a layer of quantum dots there, but more on that later, if it comes to that at all. I made a spreadsheet according to all technical characteristics. I will also provide it to you. You can take a screenshot, crop it, cut it and calmly go to choose yourself a TV. Samsung basically did nothing new at all. As it was last year, a disgusting glow, these halos around dark objects, so it has remained very bad. It's too bad and they don't do anything about it. First, the ADS panels. Okay, they reached already 8K. Okay, you don't need 4K. Well, then do it right. Why such creepy halos around dark objects? It's impossible to watch. Even an ordinary VATV Q80 a and B show better and they don't have such flashes as here on the mini LED. Really, what I advised and what I liked, my personal opinion, I really enjoyed Samsung's OLED and both last year and this year I do not advise you to buy top 9 4K TVs. I really don't recommend it. It's better to take a top 9 from Sony or some OLED TV from LG, but I don't advise top 9s and 8s QN85. I would rather advise you to save your money so that you buy a model called Q80B, because here it is with this strange mini LED, with this strange glow halos and flashes which cost two, three thousand dollars. Thanks, of course, but I will probably refuse and tell you to do the same. Okay, now I will provide you with that spreadsheet I told and what do we have on this plate. A model, a diagonal, which legs are in the center or not in the center. Next we have a column with matrices. I signed their type of matrix, number of zones as I could, because this year information on the number of backlight zones, firstly, is very difficult to find and secondly, Samsung itself stated that the number of backlight zones has not changed much compared to 2021, if not changed at all. So, one more time, do not clinch, it was complicated this year to look for information and indeed this year itself is a challenge. I also indicate there the frequency, the resolution, the bit depth of the matrix, the processor. I will add everything so that you can see what the difference is and why. For example, I should purchase the Q800 uh, 8K and not the Q. 
700. Uh, that's why I did all of this for you and in general to ease the process. I also indicate the type of backlight, video technology, support for Dolby Vision, maker mode, HDR10, Arch LG and so on. I will write all of this because telling everything in detail will take us at least an hour and that is basically it. Thank you all for watching, I wish you a peaceful sky above your head, a good health to all of you and your loved ones and stay tuned, bye!